Welcome back, Spazites! We are jumping right into part three of our LEGO Disney minifigures collection. There are 18 figures in the series, and we are doing six per episode. This is the final episode. One, two, three! Walking away, three-legged dog. And today we are doing a mixture of modern and old figures. We have three older figures. We're going to start with those and then three modern figures. I like to just break them up into eras. Uh, we're going to go with the really old figures first. I'm going to save uh, that one for last because that one is really unique and cool. First, we are going to open with Peter Pan. Whoa, okay. There we go, Peter Pan, who doesn't really come with much. He comes with a little dagger. That's not a unique part. He does come with this unique head mold here that's uh, got his little ears and his little pointy hat with the feather on the side. There you go. There's Peter's hat. Other than that, he is, uh, without the hat, he looks like he could just be any any other crazy Lego. You put a mad scientist hair on him, he'd look like a completely insane mad scientist in a little green outfit. But there you go. He's got a unique paint scheme on his on his outfit. Uh, other than that, uh, no extra accessories for him. So uh, that's Peter. We're going to put him aside and move on to da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, Captain Hook. Captain Hook has a giant molded headpiece. This is all one piece. His hair, his hat, and the giant feather. Let's keep that in focus, people. And there you have it. That is Captain Hook's hair. Now, Captain Hook comes with a hook. Now, that's not very unique. A lot of LEGO minifigures have the hook. He also comes with this. Now, these are not that common. I have seen them before, but they're not that common. This little uh, foil sword. It looks like a fencing foil, to be honest. But I'm assuming this is supposed to be a... Uh, a Castilian sword with the big basket handle. At least I think that's... We have we have a sword uh, that's kind of like that. has a big basket handle uh, at the store I work at. And it's called a Castilian. So that's what I'm calling it. But yeah, that's a basket handle on the sword there. And uh, boom. There you go. Uh, other than that, Captain Hook doesn't have any unique properties. Uh, he's got that really wicked, unique headpiece that makes it... His head does not turn at all. So if I were to like say, oh look, I'm looking to the side, uh, his hair would cover his face. <laughs> he can still look to the side a little though. <laughs> we could always do it like this. Oh look, I'm looking to the side, but his hair is way up in the air. Anyway, I just thought that would be funny. So mm, let's get his head back straight again and move on. There's Captain Hook. Next, uh, I haven't. I'm not saving her for last, so we're gonna do it right now. We have. Ma Mala Ma Malaflicent Mal 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 We have uh, the Sleeping Beauty's witch. I think it's Sleeping Beauty's witch. I don't know. I, c I can never remember. She's the one with the horns who who uh, Angelina Jolie played. Ma Malf Malfilicent. Let's just stick with that. Malfilicent. Okay, here she is. Here's Malfilicent. She has. A unique headpiece, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's a little flexible. It's more flexible than the other uh, hair pieces that we have. Uh, let me see if I can actually show you here. So you can actually see that bend. Most of the hair pieces you cannot make do that. They're really hard plastic. So she's her hair piece is made a little different. She also has this double sided cape here. Uh, it's one piece. It's just a uh, one one side of it's black and the other side is purple and it looks really cool and then she has uh, I think there it's actually two pieces like glued together or something no that's not how it is but uh, here on the back fin whatever you the collar you see this black here and then this purple here but that doesn't cut that black doesn't come away from that purple so it's all it's all one piece she also has a pretty unique staff now I haven't seen this oh wait never mind that's made out of the uh, lightsaber handle no that's not the lightsaber handle the torch handle and just the it's basically a lightsaber bar but it's solid instead of clear and it's gold and then it's got a little gemstone on the top i love legos they're so amazing and then she's got the uh, molded uh dress as opposed to actual legs which is totally understandable for her character also, uh, with the headpiece and this, it would make it really easy to find her character if you're feeling bags. 
to uh, get your character, you know, to make sure you don't get du duplicates and whatnot. Anyway, uh, because of her uh, headpiece's ability to turn, she can turn. She can also, you can also turn the cape with her head. So she can, she's got a little more posability options than, than say, uh, uh, Ariel or, or uh, Captain Hook there. But uh, we'll move her on and move on to our next one. I'm going to save my very favorite one for last. You people probably guessed already what my favorite one is. But now we're moving on to one of my favorite characters, Syndrome, as voiced by Jason Lee, one of my favorite actors. And then here you see he's got the schematics for his, uh, uh, his what does it say? His Omnidroid 07. He's got the schematics for the Omnidroid 07 there. He's got the bad scientist hair. Um, although I think it's unique syndrome hair. Because, I don't know, it looks a lot like the mad scientist hair repainted. Just all orange. Uh, syndrome also comes with a cape. Other than the schematic and the hair... Uh, Syndrome doesn't have any unique pieces except for the, you know, the paint scheme on his costume. But his cape is common. It's just a black cape. Uh, comes with every Batman figure. Uh, and then you've got the schematic here, which is unique. That's a printed piece that isn't a sticker. So uh, there you go for Syndrome. I really like Syndrome. I wish I want to interview Jason Lee someday. That would be really fun. I like Jason Lee. I miss him. He needs to be in more shows. I really liked that uh, Memphis Beat that he was in. Did anyone see that? Thumbs up to my video if you like Memphis Beat. It was great. It also had JC, uh, DJ Qualls in it and uh, Abraham Ben Ruby, who is uh, really famous from ER. Then we also have Mr. Incredible. And then uh, he's got a uh, old Doing Our Part. Uh, poster. I'm assuming that was a poster. It's been a long time since I saw The Incredibles. I do love The Incredibles. I love every movie Pixar has done except for Cars and uh, Finding Nemo. I could care less about Cars and Finding Nemo. I'm sorry to all the Dory fans, to all the Finding Nemo fans, and to all those Cars fans and everybody who loves Mater. I just did not like Finding Nemo or Cars. Although I love the... Uh, that theory that all of the Pixar films are are related, and I see how I see how Cars and Finding Nemo fit in there. They're just my least favorite of the uh, of the Pixar films. Don't hate me, please don't hate me. But here we have Mr. Incredible. Other than the printed piece, uh, his hair I think is unique. Although they could really use that hair for just about any character. It doesn't necessarily look like a superhero hair. You can make it all gray or put some gray stripes on the side, and he could just be an old man who just happens to coif his hair to the side like that. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can use that mold for lots of different characters. You can put this mold, this hair on any character, and he would he'd just look like a normal Lego character who's got like a receding hairline. I think it's it's an awesome piece, and I hope they use it for future sets. Uh, other than that, he's got his his mask there. Uh, I don't think any of the Disney characters come with a double sided face. I don't think any of them have the uh, you know the the different emotions. Uh, other than that, he doesn't he doesn't have a cape because superheroes with capes it's a horrible idea. We've all seen the movie. Okay, we're gonna put him off to the side here. And my favorite character, I'm a little disappointed in because he doesn't have bendable legs. I really think they could make these shorter legs bendable. I just I think they could. Uh, he's got a unique head. Um, I would really like to see Stitch with uh, the extended torso and regular legs. The extended torso with the extra arms so that he could have all six of his appendages like he does in the movie. Um, I would also love to see all of these figures become Disney and uh, Lego Lego dimensions figures because now that Disney Infinity is defunct, I would love to see... All of these properties in Lego Dimensions. I just think that would be amazing. But there's all 18. This is part 3. This is the end. And until next time I say goodbye. I'll give you all a double thumbs up. I had a lot of fun doing these three little videos. I thought it was really fun. We got to uh, look at uh, uh, a nice close up look at all of these figures. And they're all pretty awesome. Uh, Disney has such a wide pool to choose from that I think we'll probably be seeing a series 2. I mean we saw a series 2 of The Simpsons and uh, Disney's licensing with uh, Lego just keeps 
keeps going or Legos licensing with Disney just keeps growing and growing. They're adding more and more sets to their to their lineups. So uh, I really think we're going to see a series two, maybe even a series three or four from uh, from Disney Disney Lego. Uh, until next time, everybody. Happy hunting. Happy collecting. Find them all. And uh, be kind. Be kind. We don't need any more jerks in this world. Until next time, goodbye.